Australia's Northern Territory is the croc capital of the world. These massive beasts have dominated the food chain for over 200 million years. Talk about survival of the fittest. And since being placed on the protected list in the 1970s, up here in the region near Darwin, they're crawling all over the place. But one of the two species of croc is more dominant than the other. The massive saltwater crocodiles, or salties as the locals call them, can grow up to 20 feet long and weigh a whopping ton. That's much bigger than the smaller freshwater crocodiles, also known as freshies, that normally get to about five feet long and can weigh 50 pounds. Because of the size difference, the bigger salties often eat their little relatives. I want to find out if the freshies are surviving the onslaught of salties. I just see a little croc. It's just a baby. They're in the water. I'm gonna try and creep up and see if I can get it. I don't know if it's a freshie or a salty. Got him! Look at that! Wow, a little baby saltwater crocodile. Look at that mouth agape. You can tell by the broader snout there. Freshies have a much narrower snout. Even at this size, if it bit me, that would really hurt. Those teeth are still very, very sharp, still got a very strong jaw pressure. The weird thing is, until recently, it would be very unusual to find salties up river like this, where you'd normally only find freshies. Wow, what an absolute beauty. This little salty right here is actually a really big problem in Australia. And that problem has a ground zero. This is Sampan Creek, part of the Mary River system. That is fresh water. And that side is salt water. What usually happens is that the saltwater crocodiles live on that side of the river, and that side, the freshwater crocodiles live. But recently, because of the saltwater crocodiles increasing in population, they've been crossing the boundary layer into the freshy side, pushing them further upriver. This boundary marks the battleground, and the saltwater crocodiles, they're winning. I'm on my way to Darwin Harbour in the Northern Territory. In the last 40 years, the salty population has exploded. They went from 3,000 to now 100,000 in the Northern Territory. I want to see just how out of control this situation is. And to do that, I'm starting where it all begins, at the ocean. Darwin has a lot of people and this harbour covers a massive area. There's a lot of fishermen, a lot of tourists, Tommy Soft looking all the nooks and crannies where the crocs might be lurking. And he has these traps and baits them. And if he catches the croc, he has to move them out. He's trying to keep people safe from the crocodile. Okay, our first trap is just around the corner here. If there's a croc in the trap, we'll tie it up and bring it into the boat. And the trap will be rebaited. As you can see, the door is up, so unfortunately there's no croc in it. No croc. So okay. what we're going to do now, rebait this trap. And these traps are quite simple. What we've got is a door here. The bait hangs down at the top end. Crocodile smells or sees the bait, comes in, bites that bait, in which you drop the door down, and that's it. That could take a very big croc. It'll, it'll, it'll take a six metre croc. Wow, that's like 20 feet long. Yeah. So salties really are moving to areas where they've never been seen before? Most definitely. You've got a movement of younger crocs who aren't scared of people anymore. 
You get in people's backyards, swimming pools, all over the place here. Yeah. Okay, this one's done. Okay, let's go.